Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, and I am <laughs> Take Phoenix. Two. Take two. And uh, <laughs> he is going to be, I can never remember what the fuck his I will be is. the prosecutor, so I'm going to be Payne and then Edgeworth. That. And yeah, Kat's going to be Phoenix. I'm going to be Mia, Maya, Emma, whoever's helping her at the time. Yes. Uh, I think you said you were going to be judge, right? Yeah, I can be judge. And then for this first case, Kat's going to be like most of the witnesses and stuff. And Kat's going to be Larry. So. Yep. All right. All right. Episode one, first turnabout in one, two, three. Now you guys can see what happens. <laughs> and it's not weird. Blood dripping. Gasp. Gasp. <laughs> it's a bone. Oh, no. It's a statue. Not a bone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, poor girl. Damn it. Why me? This is why we can't have nice things. I can't get caught. Not like this. <laughs> I've got to find someone to pin this on. Rude. It looks like he has a gunshot in the middle of his forehead. Someone like I think it's just an ugly mole. <laughs> just reminds me of uh, what you call it? Fettel. I'll make it look like he did it. Oh my gosh, Fettel. It's the like uh, Fettel of this game. Yeah. August 3rd at 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Clicking. So music's good now and stuff? Okay. Good. All right. Boy. Oh, wait. Are we starting? Yes. <laughs> okay. Boy, am I nervous. <laughs> right. <laughs> Boobs. Also, I can't Boop. hear anything. So you guys hear all the music. I, I won't hear anything. So if I don't react, this is why. Hi, Jamal. <laughs> yeah, right. she doesn't get to hear the awesome soundtrack. Makes me sad. I know. I will when I'm editing, though. So I will get to hear it just once I'm editing it. So. Oh, hi hiya, Chief. Oh, I'm glad I made it on time. Chief's very revealed. So this yes. So this is it. Your first trial. Oh. What? This is it your first trial is what yours said? I think so. Or was it you? Did I read you? I'm sorry if I read you. No. Oh shit. It, you should be on I haven't been this nervous. Mm, did you say not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this? Uh, no. Maybe I accidentally skipped myself ahead. That's probably what happened. Just go to the next one. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Or did you skip yours? Um, thanks. No? You click and see I what's next. Did they rewrite the script? Shit, did they? This would be really unfortunate, guys. Oh, fuck. Because I have... Well, it's about time you got back into the swing of things, then. Did you not have that? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Keep <laughs> <laughs> thought it was the same one. This would be really I unfortunate. Why is the text different? Drander said Kita's like, text is totally different. Oh, fuck. Everyone says the text is different. Why would they do that? Do you have the DS game? Because you do. Yeah, so just go get it. <laughs> We're it. really fortunate Kita has copies of this game, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. What the fuck? Boy, am I nervous. Right. Oh, hi hiya, Chief. Oh, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. Favor? Favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Ugh. That's you. Is that the judge? No, that's Larry. Uh, He's very dramatic. <laughs> it's over? My life, everything, it's all over. 
Isn't that your client screaming over there? Yeah, that's him. Death, despair, oh! I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die! It sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> um, yeah. Butts. <laughs> <laughs> this is Larry? Yes, this is Larry Buzz. This is not the person I was expecting for some reason. I don't know why I had this preconceived idea of what Larry looked like, but this was not it. <laughs> <laughs> Nick! Hey. Hey there, Larry. <laughs> Dude, I'm so guilty! Tell them I'm guilty! Why? Give me the death sentence! I ain't afraid to die! What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over! <laughs> I, I'm finished! Finished! I can't live in this world without her! I can't! Oh, that's sad. So the person who nah, was murdered... No, he's just a drama queen. Oh, never mind. Don't feel bad for him. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Oh, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death? The newspapers say it was you. Well, obviously it wasn't. Or... <laughs> surprise. <laughs> or surprise. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. Pitch got clobbered with a statue. A young woman was killed. That was the official report. <laughs> oh, wait, we saw the murderer anyway, so we know it wasn't him. We did. We know who the murderer is. Anyway. <laughs> Don't feel bad for him, apparently. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. Wow. <laughs> in the 30 years I've known him. 30? 30, 23, what the fuck am I reading? I don't know, clearly Wait, I am they like- They changed it again. <laughs> they, ch they changed DS to we. Oh my God, guys, we would die. Like, I don't know how we would do that if that was the case. Oh my God. In the 23 <laughs> years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say though, it's usually not his fault, and he just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. And that I owe him one. Which is why I took the case. To clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do! <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. August 3rd. Yeah, I, I know there's a PC one, but it's only in Japanese, and neither of us can read Japanese. Therefore, it might as well not exist, because it can't help us. <laughs> that's problematic. 10 a.m. So, this is our only option. Yeah. Anyway. <clears throat> Judge! Oops. I'm just, well, someone is good at math. That wasn't even math. That was just reading at that <laughs> point. I was reading. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, I'm Judge? Yeah. The court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The, um, defense is ready, Your Honor. <clears throat> Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. That's Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. No. Oh. Hand shaking. Eyesight fading. Oh, Soul Smuggy, thank you for the hundred bits. Soul hey. Smuggy says, Behold the judge and his magnificent beard. It is magnificent. <laughs> it he, is he that. could be a wizard or Santa. He's is definitely like, Santa. <laughs> definitely <laughs> Santa. He just needs the hat and the red cloak. Oh, yeah. Just wait. Some of the dialogue in this is going to make you laugh. Like, hardcore. I'm excited. <laughs> just be excited. Okay. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. 
please state the name of your the defendant in this case. The defendant himself? That'd be Larry Butts, right? Yep. Okay. Larry Butts. The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. They're quizzing me on legal terms, guys. This is not <laughs> Correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? I know this one. Glad I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's... wait... Oh. No. No way. I forgot. I'm drawing total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name. Oh, the victim. Uh, of course. I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the defendant's name is listed in the court record. Just touch the court record button to check it at any time, okay? As real lawyers do. Remember to check it often. <laughs> do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Let's hear your answer. Who is the victim in this case? Uh, so we should okay, look so at the plus button. Yep. Plus yeah, you want to go to plus. plus. Go to... Cindy's autopsy report? Yep. This isn't even a split screen. I did this for no reason. Cause is it inventory like bottom screen you said? It is for me. What the fuck? What was the whole purpose of showing me the two screens together when the whole thing is gonna be big like this? Um, we, Nintendo, I don't know what you're doing, but stop Great. and never do it again. I just made a layout for no reason. It's fine. Okay. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. <laughs> I had I mean, to make one in five good. minutes. I know. So because of Nintendo. I already had mine. I, I blame Nintendo. Uh, all right. Cinder block. No. <laughs> okay. So Cindy's autopsy report uh, type reports received from Mia Fey. So Mia Fey is the person we're working with, though. Yeah. Also, blood due to blunt trauma. Um, can I like make it bigger so I can see your full name, or does that not matter? Um, I can't select it again. Go. You want to go into profiles. Plus. Mia Fay, age 27, gender female. Larry Butts, age 23, male. Cindy Stone. I like her haircut. Okay, so you have the information now. <laughs> I do. Okay, so minus out for one. Yep. Oh, oh. Okay. How do I get out? B? Probably B. <laughs> I never played Wii, guys. Right. So Cindy Stone. It is Cinder Block. I didn't even notice that. All right. No, that's actually not true. What? Cat's Cat's the defendant, and well, the victim doesn't talk because the victim's dead. There's Kat's that. the defendant, and she's also Phoenix, and I'm Mia, and also Pain. So, yes, yes. Hey. All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do Cindy Stone. Cinder block. <laughs> um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? Blunt force trauma. She died because she was. Hit with a blunt object. Right? Yep. Okay. <laughs> she was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Gold star. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor. As Mr. Wright has just told us, the victim was struck. Oh my god. The victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was this statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. Statue. Uh, weapons, so... Okay. Right. 
Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Touch the court record button to check the court record frequently. Uh. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant Mr. Mm. Butts to the stand. Mm -hmm. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. <laughs> Crestids, are you doing the heart butt every time they say Mr. Butts? Because <laughs> 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 that's amazing if so. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Hold on. There's like... I gotta clear my throat somehow. <clears> throat> What the fuck? All right. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Oh, no. He looks like a douche there. Ahem. Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um... Didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped. She was just not taking- She just wasn't taking my phone calls. Or seeing me. Ever. <laughs> What's it to you, anyway? Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. It's like simulacra all over again with Greg. <laughs> Literally the exact same thing. Butts is Greg, just saying. What do you mean, one of them? Lies. All of it lies. I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. I was added to the record. Hmm. Indeed, she appears to have returned the day before the murder. Murder, not murderer. Dude, no way! The victim was a model but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddies. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Daddies? Sugar? I mean, it clearly wasn't him. Yes. Older men who gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude! We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Slut-shaming right there. Yeah, I was like, rude, what the hell? Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Uh, right. she's dead. I don't think you want him to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I... Should we wait to see what happens or stop him from answering? I would think we'd stop him because Mia's suggesting we stop him. Okay, we'll do that. Oh, God. So stop him? Yep. Okay. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oh. Buddy. The cheat <laughs> she dog. I'm gonna die. I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in what? I'm gonna get to the bottom of this. Well, that one quickly. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is so not looking good. His butt's next an idiot. question. You went to the victim's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Well, did you or did you not? <laughs> well, maybe I did and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh. He went. What do I do? <laughs> well, he already kind of answered, so I don't know. 
Does it matter that much? Honestly, I don't remember, so just go with what you think. Um, I mean, he's clearly not good at talking for himself. Like, he absolutely is not. But he already started half answering the question, so if we cut him off, it's gonna look like he's suspicious. But at the same time, pretty sure he's gonna answer it anyway, and it doesn't matter. Stop him from answering if we can. Is that what you want to do? Sure. Okay. Let's try. I'll send him a signal. He's not going to get it. <laughs> Bye. Like a dog. <laughs> that was no. Um, well, see, it's like this. I don't remember. <laughs> you don't remember. Well, then we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go into the victim's apartment that day. Well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body just before making the gruesome discovery. I'm guessing the murderer. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. I'm guessing it's the murderer. <laughs> the witness is the murderer. Why is that not obvious? Anyway, order, order in the court. Because Mr. no Payne. one else saw the murderer do it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I guess. Supposedly, you know. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Uh -huh. Please bring Mr. Frank Sawit to the stand. Oh my god, happy, ma <laughs> happy mask salesman! I know. That's terrifying! <laughs> oh Mr. Sawit, you sell newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Is, is, are you Mr. Sawit or am I doing Mr. Sawit? I assumed it was you, because, like, this, this is the last, as far as I know, this is the last character in this case anyway, so. Okay. There's not going to be a ton. In later cases, there's more people. He is so much like the happy mask salesman. Oh, yes. Newspapers, yes. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Mr. Sawin, you may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Oh, God. Witness testimony. Witness Here account. Here we go. What is it? Testimony. It's blinking. Okay. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. And then you went in and like murdered he's like her. Up his pants. <laughs> it does look like that. <laughs> Thinking it strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there. A woman. A woman. Dead! Sorry if I'm deafening you. Look. <laughs> A quailed... I quailed. What the fuck does quailed mean? Just like... Curled, you know... Oh, I can't think of the word. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remembered the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was, without a doubt... The defendant sitting right over there. This bitch. <laughs> His head staying perfectly still is freaking me out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, he is really good at just moving his body. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. The phone that Mr. Sawit used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record was in. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes? Er, uh, yes, Your Honor? You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. 
Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why, you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? Then that witness must have lied in his testimony. Or is your client really guilty? <laughs> How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Damn. Um, okay. Touch the court record button and point out contradictions in the testimony. Okay. This is so intense. <laughs> It is. It gets intense. It gets so anime. It is very anime. Oh. Is that another check? Checks your facts. Okay. So check facts again with the plus button. Okay. So if you look in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you'll see a bunch of exclamation points. Was if you pres... Mm. Do you see them? Wait. I'm at the cross-examination part now. Yeah. I hadn't clicked ahead. Okay. So, so should I click ahead? Because right now it says no, witnesses don't... account. Okay. Yeah. So Click get to once. his first statement where it says I was going door to door. Okay. Going door to okay, door. Okay. So because so he's the happy get... mask salesman. Sorry. Do you see the exclamation points? Yes. Okay. Those are your like lives. So oh, if no. you do something incorrectly, you'll lose one, and if you lose all of them, then you then you have to start over. We'll so... show. Yeah. So what you're gonna do here is. You, we already heard his testimony, but it lets you kind of look through each piece of it, and you can either press him, which would press him for more information about that statement, or you can present evidence to contradict what he's saying. Okay. So, that's what you're kind of trying to do. Okay. And also, may I just say, I really hope if, for any reason, we are in court, we have a lawyer more well-prepared than fucking Phoenix Wright. And I just yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know it's supposed to be the tutorial for everyone, but I'm like, you would not have passed law school not knowing this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just it, or at least I hope you wouldn't. There's a difference. All right. Uh, best and worst course system ever. That math is over. Okay, so we can scroll through all of his statements, and then you can decide which one you want to press him for more information on. Okay. So I saw I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. Well, he wasn't. So do we look at stuff with? So press is to just be like, okay, what were you selling or whatever? Yeah, like press would just have Phoenix kind of like doubt him, and then you would get a little bit more information. And that won't be a life, right? Or would it shouldn't be no. There might be like certain situations where it brings up a different prompt that you have to choose between two different options. Yeah. But just pressing someone shouldn't cost you any lives or anything. All right. Okay. Uh, so press this one. You want to press the first one? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. I heard that. How the fuck did I did heard it... that? It came through the Wii mode. <laughs> I heard that too. Because <laughs> I'm like, I can't hear anything. What the fuck? Yeah, it'll come through the Wiimote. <laughs> that was great. Okay. <laughs> Isn't a man leaving an apartment a common sight? I find it odd you would take notice of him. Er, he... I don't know. He was... He just seems strange to me, that's all. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time. Just like... A criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. These are big words. Of course, what the witness means is that the man he saw looked suspicious. So what happened next? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we didn't really get much information from that. Yeah. Um, so eventually you'll find something that like you can contradict, most likely. So that's kind of like what you're doing here. You're just kind of like feeling out his testimony and trying to figure out what you have that contradicts what he's saying. Right. Okay. Then he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Uh, I think he 
strange religions I gave Sure, so, in theory, we should press everything? And see if a contradiction that's up, happens? That's up to you. And I saw her lying there, a woman that was in bed. Found myself unable to go inside. Wait! So he said, I found yeah. myself unable to go inside, but then he said the phone in her apartment wasn't working, which means he fucking went inside. Yep. So can I, which one do I press the, in order to attack that? The um, phone I think, I think you can, I would press, uh, I found myself unable to go inside. And it might work with phone. either, but yeah, just press this one first. Okay. So I'll, I'll quailed and frightened and found myself. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Got the Wiimote. up. <laughs> so you didn't touch anything in the apartment? Um, yes. I mean, no, nothing. What? Okay, what happened next? And then, however, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. So press that. Yep. <laughs> the phone in her apartment wasn't working. Yes, I mean, no, no, it wasn't right. But you said you didn't go into the apartment! Or did you? That's fine, <laughs> sorry. I was excited I got that. It's, it's fine. <laughs> this lying salesman. This bitch, right? Oh, oh, that? I can explain that. There was a cordless phone on the shelf in the entranceway. I reached inside and tried using that to call. Mm -hmm. And that phone wasn't working, correct? What happened next? I don't believe her bitch ass. That's what happened. Next. So you see he changed what he said? Right. Oh, I went to the nearby park and found it. Wait. Oh, how... What do you mean? Just now? Yeah, before he said he, um... He took the phone out of her apartment, and now he's saying that he went to a park. So, like, he changed his testimony. See? Right. So wait, so he said he went to a park, but then... I, I missed it. Sorry, I was... I realized someone clipped at the same time. I've had... Um, distracted. Okay, so he changed his testimony. Like, you he can said he see went to that. A park. Right, so you probably want to press on this new information. I went to another park and found a public phone. That one? Yeah. Okay. And thank you, Wolf Handle, for clipping! Thank you, thank you, thank you, spooked by a Wiimote. <laughs> yes. Alright, so press this. Uh, if I can press the damn button. Why use a public phone? Well, you see, I don't have a cell phone. Yeah, and being, you're a liar. <laughs> and being the middle of the afternoon, there was no answer at nearby apartments. All oh, right. What time did you call again? 1 p.m. Yeah. Supposedly. Uh, that's all of it. Thanks, Mia. That was helpful. What the fuck? <laughs> There must be a contradiction there somewhere. It might not be a bad idea to press him with the button. You know what, bitch? I'm trying. I didn't realize <laughs> that you would start talking if I hit the end. Yeah, once you get through to the last statement, she'll just say something like, oh, go through it again, and then, yeah. And then you're so. like this bitch. So. <laughs> uh, I, I'm a little lost now. I thought to call police immediately. So he... I remember the time exactly. It was 1pm. I guess we would press that because Phoenix just asked what time was it again? Mm-hmm. So press this? Yep. 1pm. Okay. Are you certain? Yes, absolutely. Mm. He seemed really confident. Um, bitch. 1 p.m. Right. Doesn't that seem strange to you? Present some evidence to contradict him. Okay. Uh, so, the plus button? Yeah, you're gonna go into present and look at the evidence you have. Whoa! Swing the Wiimote like you're presenting evidence to do just that! <laughs> oh, cat gets to do the fun stuff. Okay. Well, it says you can also present with minus. 
I could also be boring. It's fine. Um, so, so Cindy's autopsy, maybe? Just, like, look at the stuff you have until you find out what she means. Okay. So the badge. No one believe I was a defense attorney, but it is. That doesn't say good for you. Time of death was between 4 p.m. and 5 p.m. So that legit just makes no sense. Like, straight up right. doesn't make sense. Exactly. How did, like, nobody even... <clears throat> even, like, your lie was bad, buddy. <laughs> Alright. So, just present that, then? Yep. You're gonna present the uh, autopsy report on his statement that says, I remember the time exactly, it was 1 p.m. So you're presenting this and saying, no, that's wrong, because this. Okay, how the fuck... How do they want me to... Ah! I did it! Good job. <laughs> I tried it. I tried the motion instead of the minus. And I <laughs> had to, job. like, go over the mic. Anyway. All right. You found the body at 1 p.m.? Are you sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. But wait, there's more. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy... Oh, the jams. The jams? Yeah, it's a great song right now. I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. <laughs> the autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to... Er, no body to find at 1 p.m. <laughs> Mr. Body's body, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god, yes. How do you explain this three-hour gap? <laughs> exposed. He's exposed. It's true. Oh, that er. Uh, mm. <laughs> Sweat. Oh, bullets. that was me. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> oh, that was you. Great. Yep. That My Wii Mote just talks for me. It's fine. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. No, I mean, that was Pain saying objection in that really nasally, awful voice. Objection. <laughs> oh, my God. After this testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit. I almost said Schwit. Why, why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one, and their whole story falls apart. Whoa! <laughs> Wait, I remember now! Would you care to give your testimony again? So this will happen it? a lot. They'll be like, no, just kidding. By the way, it I'm... actually happened like this. Right? Yeah. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. A, a voice. Really? <laughs> but the blackout! There was a fucking blackout, bitch! <laughs> it was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. Still <laughs> a blackout. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. I can't wait to call you out on that, bitch. <laughs> Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying it on a... T you heard a voice <laughs> saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. Yeah, I do! <laughs> cross-examination. Cat gonna call his butt out hardcore. Fuck yeah, I am. Time of discovery. Alright. You see what I found... Oh, right. Oh, you oh, already read this. God. So. so let's just go straight to t uh, TV. Wait, so there's a voice saying the time is probably coming from the television. Press that. Yep. Uh, you can press it, or you can just contradict him because he's lying. How do I? Because you have the evidence already, oh. so you don't need to press him. Oh, so I gotta go to present. Yeah. So blackout record. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yep. The documents, electricity to the building was out from noon to 6 p.m. the day of the crime. Make things happen. Yes! Ow, ow. Hold it right there. It makes it sound so intense. <laughs> I'm trying. I had to fling it twice to try and get it to work. <laughs> uh, the prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. <laughs> 
Ew, he's sweating. He is sweating. his mole. <laughs> I just, I keep thinking it's a bullet hole. It's fine. You couldn't have heard of television or a video. Okay. Hey, <laughs> well. I... The defense has a point. Do you have an exit? Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. Quite. <laughs> ah. Wait, I remember now. Mr. Sawit, the court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. He should Suck already it. be thrown out at this point. Yeah, for real though. That and you seem rather distraught. His forehead like pounds if you pay attention to it when he looks back. Yeah, like just that. wait. Like the, as you start unraveling them, they get nuts. <laughs> like because they're just freaking out. Yeah, they just like start going crazy. <laughs> TV on an internal battery. Obs. <laughs> I ran good. Hello. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> My apologies, Your Honor. I er, it must have been the shock of finding the body. Shock. Well, <laughs> Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. Good luck. Hearing the time. What? Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. Uh -huh. There was a <laughs> table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. What? <laughs> you saw a clock. I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness, but it wouldn't be paused at 1 p.m. unless she was hours off because it was out since noon. Yep. So it never even hit one to get frozen on one. You know what, bitches? Soul Monkey, thank you for the 100 bits, and says, how could you hear videos during a blackout? Me. Oh, I don't know. A portable DVD player, maybe? Maybe, perhaps? Maybe she uh, was playing her he 3DS. <laughs> exactly that. <laughs> Oh my god. Can we just say the witness is full of shit and it's out and can move on with it? I know you said full of it, but same thing. <laughs> right. Gladly! Oh, okay. Cross examination. Intense. Intense. You didn't hear it. That gets ass. more intense, too. So I should look at the autopsy report again? Oh no, the blackout time. So do we present the blackout again? Or should I look at. I should look at those probably. Statue. All right, we're probably gonna want to press some stuff first because uh, you don't really have anything I'm that you can. Excited. <laughs> you can't really like contradict anything he says. Okay. Because he says table clock. Um. So that wouldn't necessarily be affected by the blackout. It depends. Gotcha. On what kind of clock it is, you know what I mean? Because if it's not digital, then. Right. So I think what you want to do is uh, decide what you think you want more information from, like which statement, and press. Because you don't have anything concrete yet. And Why if did you he present? Right. If you present something and you don't really have, you know what I mean, then you'll get penalized. Why am I going to give you a heart attack? Um, so the murder weapon, should I press the murder weapon then? Because he said the uh, killer used he... it to hit the victim, but like that has nothing yeah, to go. do with... Yeah, try it. Let's, let's press this one. Oh. The murder weapon. Yes, the table clock that was used as a weapon. What? That's what I just said. Did you doze off in the middle of my testimony or something? Something's fishy here. He's saying the clock is the weapon? That's what he's saying. So do we not say, bitch, this was... You put this as evidence? Can we, can we present it? I just want to call yes. this bitch out. Okay. Yes, we can. Me being a bitch. Okay. So statue, weapon, submitted as evidence. So why wouldn't the clock be considered evidence? So we just, like, present this? Yeah, I think I think you want to present it on uh, the murder weapon. Oh, like, when he says Oops. the murder weapon. Fuck, I hit present. It may be okay. I, I went to go back because I thought Minus was back and then I forgot those present. Okay, you. so what happened? I don't know, he's just saying, wait just a moment. <laughs> Did you press? I didn't do anything yet. Should I just read then? Go ahead. Wait just a moment. 
The murder weapon wasn't a clock. Okay, it was the yeah, statue. so that's okay. You could probably present it on either of those then. Okay. So, okay, we're good. <laughs> so should I wait for you to get to where I am? I, I am here. Oh, okay. Now, how is this supposed to be a clock? What? Dun, 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 you dun, with dun, your objections dun, 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 and your dun, dun, evidence dun, dun, and your dun, dun, logic. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, just who do you think you are? Just, just get ready. He's going to go nutso. Oh, God. <laughs> He's going to go Super Saiyan. He's going to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> just answer the question, Mr. Sawit. Hey, I, I saw it there, okay? That's the clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. What? As it, as it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. Um, can we test this theory? <laughs> I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is a clock. Do you have any problems with his testimony now? Yes. You want to say yes? still the murderer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right, let's say yes. Okay, say yes. Your honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock was to hold it in his hand, like a hoe. The <laughs> <laughs> Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. Clearly a contradiction. Indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. Um, knew the victim? I don't even know if he knew the victim. He just went into the apartment. So... I don't know. So what do you want to say? I don't, I don't know Go if he knew your the heart, victim. Cat. Go with your heart. Because he went into the apartment. Okay. Okay. You want to go with that? Yeah. All right, let's go. You're lying. Ow. <laughs> you were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh, yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were in... I, I, can, I, can, <laughs> I can prove that you killed her. <laughs> I can prove that you were the one who killed her. Cat goes like super southern when she's apparently, in and I can't even do a southern accent. <laughs> ah, I can prove. Okay, you. Sh oh, it's still Phoenix. You struck her with the clock in the sh in the shook and the shock of the blow. <laughs> <laughs> and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. The clock was triggered. The, the clock was literally triggered. That was the sound you heard. Order in the court. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Oh, okay. Mr. Sawit, the sound must have left quite an impression on you. Okay. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about that time. That time. <laughs> What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face. Get ready. Oh no. <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Do you? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I that, ugh. that, <laughs> that day, I, I never. <laughs> look, I, the clock. I heard, no, I mean, I saw, oh god, it's going good. Gah, why is his hair gone? <laughs> <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up, I hate you. <laughs> it, it was him, I tell you, I saw him. He, he killed her. <laughs> and he should burn, burn, give him dead. Oh my god, why is his hair gone? Why, poor Phoenix just got slapped with a toupee. Oh my god. I was not expecting that, not gonna lie. Literally, not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Reasonable response. <laughs> oh my god. That was great. Please clip that. <laughs> yes. Please, somebody. Somebody, please. I want to see her face. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. This is great. Order! Order in the court, I say! Your Honor, a, a moment, please. There isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is writing on this. I better think it through carefully. Yes, Your Honor. The sound Mr. Sawit heard was definitely this clock. The fact, a fact which is clear if you simply... Mm, ask the neighbors. <laughs> ask the neighbor. Try sounding the clock? Examine the clock's batteries. I, I, what? Why would examining the batteries matter? So which one do you want to pick? I would say try sounding the clock, and then we'd find out if it doesn't have batteries, and in which case okay. we'd get batteries, right? Okay, let's do I it. I don't want to lose a life. Cat, you got to follow your heart. <sighs> I don't trust my heart, apparently. Heart. <laughs> try sounding the clock. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. Beep. <laughs> I think it's 825. What? I think it's 825. That's what the clock's saying. Oh, okay. Why the Why is it saying I think? <laughs> Don't you it's know? Because it's a thinker. Um. <laughs> see? I don't think so. That's it. Okay. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. Well, he is the thinker. Well, you know. <laughs> After all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.25! Ah! As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between that... Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawitz heard and the actual time of the death. Yeah. yeah. So, Mr. Sawitz, Try to talk your way out of this one. What a mouth breather. Seriously. Ha! 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 You forgot one thing! Uh oh. What's he talking about? Well, it may seem like the clock is, is running three hours slow. It proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I supposed to prove that? Damn it! I was so close! Mr. Wright, it seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot allow... Means I cannot let you in... Indict? Sorry. I think? Cannot allow you to indict the witness. Unfortunately. Bitch! This ends the cross-examination of Mr. Frank Sawyer. I come all the way down here to testify and look what happens! They treat me like a criminal- A CRIMINAL! <laughs> you lawyers are all slime! Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Yeah, I was, I was too fast for the text. There's nothing okay, I can do about you, it now. Lost. Apparently. I'm just kidding. Um, so Souls Monkey gave 100 bits and says, Trust your ha trust your heart, cat. Trust it. Aw, thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Eco, for clipping. Uh, Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Yeah. Mia, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Uh, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Because it got hit Figu over the head of the woman. Figure out the reasoning you'll have your proof. Right? Right? 
Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. I'm guessing yes, right? Yep, pick yes. That's... Wait! There's more. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha! Tough words! Let's see if you can pull it. Let's see if you can pull this one off. Let's see if this evidence... Oh, uh... Oh, okay. Well, it's gone now. And behind this. <laughs> uh... The autopsy? Yeah, I was thinking the autopsy because it points out cause of death, loss of blood, blunt trauma. And so then you say, well, it was used to create blunt trauma, so therefore... But then you could also use the weapon as... What you're trying to do is prove why the clock was slow. Like, why... Because what would it cause her. it? Because right. it hit her? That's what I was thinking. You think because it, like, broke it? Yeah. But maybe because no, of batteries, you, but I don't... want to. So what do you want to present? See, that's the thing. I could present either the autopsy report or the weapon in that case. Autopsy report. You want to do the autopsy report? Yes. All right, let's go. Take that. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, excuse me. This proves your claim how... You know, don't judge me. He's a judge. I just spent 10 <laughs> minutes explaining my answer. <laughs> God damn it. I can't see what this evidence has to do with the clock. You know what? No, if I could explain it, then this would be easy. <laughs> Fucking judge. I'm just skipping past that man. Clearly it's the fucking statue then. Oh, are you are you picking another thing or are you yeah, reading? I, I, no, I, I noped on out of that reading because I'm mad. Can we do the oh. statue? <laughs> oh, she got salty. All right, so you I got to... salty because I don't know. Oh, wait. Well, I just. <laughs> I flailed my arm to talk and it made me use it as evidence. Even if I what wanted to. You... What did you pick? I'm pretty sure I picked the statue. Okay, I'll do I that too. Then, I you know, you gotta not flail around, cat. Apparently. Clip that. Cat, <laughs> yeah, you're a lawyer. You can't just flail your arms around. It'll apparently present evidence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to watch this from your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Kita, don't let her lose. Hey, it's, it's, she's learning. It's tutorial time. Oh my god. I might still excuse me. How does this prove your claim? Which I swear if I say don't again, I'm gonna punch Phoenix in the face. That's what's gonna happen. Because uh -oh. clearly a bitch can't be a lawyer. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the game broke cat again. Okay. That it's not that that wasn't it. It's that you don't know how to explain yourself clearly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Salt. So you, you presented. Salt. You tried. Thank you, RJ has crusted. Thank you for the donation. <laughs> Thank you. I can't read it because OBS is in the way. What does it say? This is ten out of ten. Best stream. <laughs> so what's clearly evidence that's not actually evidence that it makes no sense? Please do explain. Okay, so you already did the autopsy report and you tried the statue, so you have two things left. Yeah, and I'm just going to use the last lifeline and then I end up getting it anyway. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so you might as well tell me what it is. Well, you have the passport and the blackout record. Try to think through it. I legit have no idea. That was my only clue. What What happens when you use a passport? I don't know. I travel. You go on a plane, right? Sure. She went to Paris the day before the murder. Okay. Think about it. Why would the clock 
be running slow. I did she, she take it Paris. with her? Why would she take it with her? Let's just say she did. Why would she? It's a fucking giant statue. Let's just say she did. Then that's stupid. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter if it's stupid. <laughs> that literally makes no common sense whatsoever. She likes the clock, okay? Wear a fucking watch. <laughs> okay. You know what? If she had a watch, she should she wouldn't have been murdered. Uh, that literally doesn't make sense to me though. Like that they they could have probably thought of that better. <laughs> Uh, so fucking passport apparently. Let's let's this just present math. it and let's just present this is it. This math. <laughs> I was let's not just, told there was math in this. Let's just present the clock. Okay. Oh wait, or the passport. Okay. I mean, sorry. The passport. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. Okay, this is still eluding the fuck out of me. <laughs> like, that's even more than I thought it was, and I'm still confused. When it's 4 p.m. here and 1 a.m. the next day, it's, what? When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow, it was nine hours fast. Still, why the fuck would she have changed the clock time? Anyway. Right, okay, but like that's not what you're trying to prove. You're just, you were trying to prove what, like what realm of possibility could this clock be running slow? That's what you were trying to prove. Yeah, to hitting say, it like, over her head worked too. <laughs> Ken, I don't think that it would just necessarily break and then become uh, slow. I've had clocks just become slow. You've hit people with clocks? No, they've just become slow for no reason. So but. that was your answer? It just became slow for no reason. No, the only thing I could think of was hitting it over her head. Literally, why would you take, like if it was just an actual tiny But it like, doesn't matter why clock. she did it. You were just trying to prove that it was slow for a reason. It doesn't matter why yeah. she took it. I'm just saying it doesn't make logical wrong. sense in my brain. Like, I don't know why the writers put it that way is my point. <laughs> for me, it doesn't make logical sense, like at all. But that's just me, I don't think that way. Uh, she could have. Okay, fine. I'll accept that, Crested. She could have bought it in France and brought it back with her and haven't changed the time yet. I'll accept that. That makes logical sense. All right, so I guess I'm this bitch now. No, I'm not. I'm still Phoenix. The victim hadn't reset her clock. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in her apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Miss Sawit. Mr. Sawit? Miss Sawit. He's <laughs> now she. Mr. Sawit, or should I say, Mr. Did It? Wow. <laughs> oh my <laughs> word. Why did he just fall? I told out? you they go crazy. Apparently, quite literally, got rabies and died. Like that. He's he dead did. on the corner of Florida. <laughs> he is. O order. Order, I say. Ah. Uh. Well, this case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Not for me. I mean, not for any of us. Just the judge. <laughs> it's fine. The, the judge is shook. <laughs> Mr. Payne, your client? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Well, rip. Very well. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. Oh no, that's the judge. I have to say, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm impressed like, with myself. I was, I was like, what? <laughs> Why is he so impressed with himself? I, I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, your honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but this court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not Guilty! Uh, he's just standing there like, what the fuck Party. did I just witness? Party. <laughs> and with that, the court is adjourned. Alright. It turns out that Frank Sowett was a common burglar. He posed as a newspaper salesman to check and see what people were out... When people... What? Yeah, when people were out of the house. That day... 
da, da, da. When Larry went to her apartment, the victim was at home. After he left, Mr. Sowett let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sowett grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. Poor girl. She apparently had a bunch of sugar daddies, though. Yeah. So, hopefully it wasn't a booty call or else this is awkward. August 3rd, 2.32 p.m., Court or District Court Defendant Lobby Number Two. I still can't believe we won. Right. Good job in there. Congratulations. Th thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all. Not at all. You fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I have never seen the Chief looking this happily. Happy. Apple. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. <laughs> I totally forgot what voice I had for him. It's been a while. My life is over! Larry- oh, Larry. Larry! You're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Aw, oh, Nick! Don't worry about me! I'll be dead and gone soon! Good. Wait. No. I mean, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. That's but- but my Cindy Windy's gone. <laughs> Cindy Windy. Man, <laughs> gone forever. Larry, she was a... No, nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. H Harry? Harry Butts. <laughs> yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. Oh my god, that's so painful. <laughs> um, thanks, I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner? Movie? My treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. <laughs> hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey! H here, take this! It's a present! Uh, what? Um, it's evidence, though. A Sorry. present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... <laughs> Actually, I made this clock for her! I made her... I made one for her and one for me! Really? You? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Yo, Nick! Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And... And she was just playing me for a fool! Don't... Don't that make you just want to cry? <sighs> Stop. <laughs> that was my attempt to just... I tried. Larry. So she didn't bring it back from the France. Are you so sure? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing. Really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? huh? Oh yeah, right. Oh, what? What the heck is she talking about? Okay, this will answer your question of why she took the clock to Paris. Because he made it, so she took it with her yes. because he she actually loved him? Yes. That's acceptable as well. Okay, so you want to present that to him. <laughs> I'm trying here! <laughs> there we go, take that! I throw it at him, he gets knocked out and killed, then now I'm under arrest. I'm just waiting for the stream to go black because you hit your computer screen with the Wii <laughs> Hit the monitor, or hit the yeah. webcam. Me, I go out. Anyway. <laughs> you just hear, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? Where'd you get that clock? Um, what? Did you just give it to... Did he bring no, his personal clock? <laughs> I think he did. Oh my god. This is the clock you made for her, Larry. She took it with her when she traveled. Fine. <laughs> See, had I known this since the beginning, I could have <laughs> made that leap. <laughs> you know? <laughs> she probably just needed a clock, that's all. Bitch would have taken a watch. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. My point. 
Okay, so at least, okay, logic. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Well, make of it what you will. Oh, shit. <laughs> make of you what. I just see, like, Phoenix will. making fun of him. <laughs> Being a bitch. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really, I am. Thanks. You'd think that would be a conflict of interest. That's what I thought she was going to say in the very beginning. But then she was like, oh, well, cool. I'm like, oh. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> well, I guess this is okay here. It's just going to get more <laughs> ridiculous from here, so. Apparently. Hope that made him feel a little better. <laughs> right. I hope you see the importance of evidence now. You know what, bitch? Also, <laughs> hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Hashtag deep. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Believe in me who believes in you. <laughs> well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me. We'll drink a toast to innocent butts. <laughs> yeah! Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him? Er, yeah, part, at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks? Ooh la la. And so, my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, Gee, Nick. But. Do it. Oh, but. <laughs> Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. But I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay me. Unless you count the clock he gave Mia. Pretty sure Mia would have something to say about that, but okay. Yeah. I didn't know it then. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. Fuck. I don't want that <laughs> clock anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the clock anymore. <laughs> I don't want it. And my pro and my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Hashtag deep. The end. Can we save? Is yes, that a thing? it should prompt you to save. Also, I have to pick up forever. <laughs> yeah. A brand new episode has been added. The first turnabout now. Turnabout sisters. Yes. Hey, at least we got through the first one. We did. <laughs>